A new generation has emerged in the earth. A seed in the ground has been sprouting, yet all around everything looked dead. Like the ground has closed every crack that the fragile seedling requires to sprout, out of the unseen to the seen, out of the death stage with resurrection power. But when the Kairos moment is announced, not even the concrete pavement can stop that seedling from pushing through. The trumpet has sounded, and that sound has hit the core of the earth. A new generation has emerged. A generation prepared and released by the heavens. Feared and hated in hell, yet the world does not recognize, neither is it ready for us. A generation coming from the wilderness of the word, where we have learnt how to die to our carnal ambitions, and embrace the mandate of our Creator. A generation who have overcome the temptations that appeal to the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and pride of life. Our sword is soiled with the blood of our crucified flesh, and desires of the flesh. A generation that has gone through our valleys, and made a decision to join the remnant. A new generation alive in Christ has emerged. A generation whose natural appetite was long overtaken, by the spiritual appetite that declares. My food is to do the will of he who sent me and to finish his work. The king's food and wine is not what entices us, but we choose to eat that which proceeds from the mouth of God. In a world of varied options, we are the generation with a singular sight. We have locked eyes with Christ. The author and finisher of our faith. Men and women who have made a covenant with our eyes. A new generation fiercely committed to the word of God has emerged. A generation who know that our lives are worth the blood of the Lamb, therefore we cannot be bought with any position, nor sold for any price. We have eaten of his flesh, and drank of his blood, therefore we can confidently say, it is not I who live but Christ in me the hope of glory. A generation that does not take lightly, the greatest event in human history, the cross. We know, it is because of the finished work of Christ on the cross, that we emerge in this season, to establish kingdom lifestyle in the earth. A new generation birthed on the cross has emerged. A generation with the Isaka dimension is here, we know what Kairos we are in, and what we ought to do. The heavenly assignment is all we are here for, to become the interface between heaven and the earth. Downloading all that heaven wants installed on the earth. Heaven looked down for a man who would stand in the gap for the nations, and this generation, in one voice answered. We are here and are willing to be misunderstood for our faith, rejected for our boldness and courage, and persecuted for holding on to the word. For the joy set before us, we are willing to be identified with Christ. A new fearless generation has emerged. We might not be perfect. Our past might try to haunt us. The enemy will try to stop us using any available vessel, but, like a pilot about to take off, we are announcing, we are committed, no turning back. From the north, south, east and west, behold, a new generation, who will bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. A new generation has emerged, backed by the heavenly host, with a trumpet sounding. Let God arise and all his enemies be scattered. A new generation that has no color, no race, no gender and no status has emerged. The ecclesia has emerged. We are the Cyrus community. Hello and welcome to the Cyrus community. This is Business Unusual. We continue with our conversations in an exciting season when everything that is happening around us is a this is that. Now, if you've been listening to us, you know we say that we must be living in a time when we look at what is happening around us, we say that this is that which was spoken by the prophets. This is that which was prophesied, meaning we are walking in the reality of a word that was given to us. And that's the moment we are in now, and we're excited to see things happening and saying, listen, I read in the Bible, but you know what? Right now, I'm walking as though I'm in that Bible. Somebody can look at my life and read and see the faithfulness of our God that every time he speaks, his word becomes a reality. Every time he speaks, he intends to see the outcome in your life. We thank God for this season and we continue saying that, Lord, yes. may everything that is designed for us, may everything that is for mm -hmm. this generation, may everything that you have spoken for us never 
about purpose. Yes. May it come to pass. May it become in our life. And I pray that is your conversation also at home. Yes. That's our interest. That's that our interest because every time we talk, yeah. Ultimately, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. <laughs> yes. On earth. Yes. Please never forget. We like rushing to as it is in heaven. No. 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 On earth. And so, where is the earth here? Yes. Starting with me. Exactly. Yes. That's so right. last week in our our last conversation, we talked about the internal factors that hinder your your movement in God. Meaning these internal factors they cause unbelief. This mm. unbelief causes you not to move or to mm. walk in the things that God is saying, and it causes you to look at the word of God with a question mark. And you say that please go back. Watch that message. Look at any factor that is found in your life and deal with it before we continue mm. to the next level. Because yes. for us, it's every time we speak and God says something, we always go back and say, Lord, open it up more and more so that we see. Because the, uh, when you talk of mammon yes. or you talk of the enemy, he's yes. subtle. Oh, yes. Some <laughs> of the time he'll manifest in your life you see, like as, as though it's you. You see, most of us yeah. have, been, have grown up with a confrontational devil, so we think. That's not the operation. He's called a deceiver. Mm. A deceiver is somebody who appears to be and is not. Yes. And that's what makes him dangerous. Yes. Yes. And that's why today we continue with walking in, in the manifestation of the word that we have. I think this I'll call it part six. Yes. Because we are talking about you and me. We are always examining ourselves. And we are saying, listen, our lives are so complex mm. that sometimes if you don't understand, we'll be hosting yes. the enemies of God, mm -hmm. enemies of progress in yes. our lives. And we want to look at it today and, and say, yeah. where are we at yes. on and this journey? Say, why is this so crucial? Yeah. Listen, as you have discovered already from the last conversation, mm -hmm. that hearing is never the problem. Oh, yes. The devil <laughs> really can't stop the word from being spoken. He has no capacity. He tries. He tries to stop it by getting people to give you false information. Mm -hmm. He tries to stop it by trying to contaminate what is taught. But when true word is taught, he can't stop it. Mm. But what he can do, he can try and get you to stop yourself. Oh yes. Oh, and that's yes. why we are so focused in this season on saying, listen, the word we have is clear cut. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are no flaws there. Yes. It's not the issue. Yes. And the outcome is expected. No issue there. Mm. The issue mm. is me and you. Oh yes. Are we going to be able to translate it and bring it into reality. And then do not lose the narrative. Yes. We are talking about power to create wealth. Yep. A promise that God gave so that he may establish his covenant that he gave to your forefathers. In our scripture today, Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Therefore, whoever hears these saints of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock but everyone who hears these things of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was that fall and, and as usual we always say context context oh, yes. context he says these things of mine. I often say Matthew chapter 7, if you read it from the top, is the one chapter where Jesus covers almost all issues that concern us. Mm -hmm. He talks about relationships. He talks about giving. He talks about judging others. He talks about behavior. He talks about, the, it's like he covers 360 mm. of who you are in different aspects of life. Mm. And he gives you key things that have to do with how you should behave in those areas, how you should function, how you should build, how you should... Then he finishes by saying, whoever does, hears and does. and does. So the issue is, in a nutshell, anytime you hear something here said, this is the principle. Yes. So if you hear and do, there's an outcome. And you hear and not do, there's an outcome. So today we want to go into outcomes. Mm, mm. outcomes. And we look at hearing yes. and doing. Yes. Here in this scripture, yes. when he says, whoever hears and does. Yes. Now we have to look at the word to hear yes. and the word doing. Absolutely. Because most of the time, even as we come here and say, it's time for you to do something. Yeah. You need to go out and do. Yes. You need to action. Yes. You need to get, get out and do. You're like, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Can exactly. you understand? What is this doing? Yes. And because <laughs> all of us could be doing things. And, and please notice, you yeah? have to be very careful. Whenever, whenever Jesus begins to make a statement yes. and pulls out some words, mm. you should ask what is going oh, on. Yes. Because he's just been speaking. Right? Clearly. And he hasn't even stepped down if it was a pulpit from the pulpit. Mm. And he still says, whatever I have been saying. So he did not say, 
whoever has listened to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He did not say whoever was in the room. Yes. It means everybody was listening, but he goes up one level and mm -hmm. says whoever hears. The word for hear here is a very interesting word. It means to incline with intent to understand and do. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of hearing. Hearing. Meaning right now you could be sitting there. Yes. Are you in a position of, I want to hear. Yes. I've put my ear out to hear. Yes. So that I can understand. Yeah. So that I can do. Exactly. You notice that means when I come for conversations, when yes. I just come to the table of the Lord and say, you know what, I'm here yes. to eat of the word of yes. the Lord. Mm -mm. It is not about attendance. Exactly. It is about hearing yes. with an intention to, to do. do. In fact, that, now that's that we're powerful. dealing with the house, let mm -hmm. me use an example. Maybe some of you haven't, but I like watching. We like watching these programs where they do house renovations. Mm -hmm. You know where somebody is surprised with the yes. house and whatever. Now, mm -hmm. when the person who is in charge of the team speaks, everybody is hearing, but they're not hearing the same thing. Mm. But it's mm. the same house. <laughs> That's a good one. It's the same house. Yes. And when she says, let's go, everybody in the hearing only paid attention. Hmm. to that that they are supposed to be going to carry out hmm. within that house. Hmm. So they all had, let's build a house. Yes. But somebody had, go put down the floor. Hmm. Somebody had, do the wall. Somebody had. So whenever you're hearing in any word spoken, there's that piece that you must ex extract from yes. the whole hearing. Hmm. Because, and that is your yes, piece. Yes, God's speaking is not a cloning speak, mm. speech. Yes. It's not something that he says, God, God doesn't say jump and everybody is jumping. Mm. Let's even look at ourselves. Yes. We said that in our last conversation, I yes. think, or two conversations before, uh -huh. we said that look at ourselves. Yes. We are one body yes. with many members. So the same thing. Yes. If you speak and say, you know what, we are going to have conversations tomorrow. Yes. I come and sit here. Yes. My hands are doing something different. Exactly. My eyes, my exactly. mouth, everything is doing something different yes. all towards the that's good it. of the conversation. That's it. So that's the same thing that exactly. you as uh, a son of God, sitting there, God is saying, listen, I have many sons in the earth, each of them yes. is supposed to be fulfilling something. What are you supposed to be there fulfilling? You As you sit there, what are you hearing? We don't Perfect. hear the same thing. And this also sends the signal that after we have heard, we mm. can't copy each other. That's the thing. I can't hear and then watch what you're doing mm. and then try and do it. Mm. No, no, no. What did I hear for me? Hearing with the intention yes. of understanding so as to do. That's it. I want to do. So yes. you said, you've always repeatedly yes. said, yes. God is about outcomes. It's about outcomes. So he says, whoever hears and does. Mm. So there are people who may hear and explain. Mm. There are people who may hear and articulate. There are people who may hear and expand. L listen, guys, there's a time when I was part of a movement and one of our big terms was secondary illumination. Now, secondary illumination is useless if it doesn't bring light to you. Mm. Mm. It just means you have a or found a better way to say it, mm. a more expanded way to say it. No, that's not what you, God is asking you to. God is asking you to extract for yourself. Yes. In other words, no matter what I'm saying, even as we are speaking now, no matter what we are saying, you should be asking, when I'm done hearing you, mm. what action am I taking? So I think today is when you will hear, when you finish our conversation, <laughs> when you hear that question, yes. what have you heard? There it you is go. what is your secondary illumination? Yes. What is it that you have understood? Yep. And you're going to look at it again and again so that you, you can, can do. Meaning, every time you hear the word, it is all about yes. I have to be ending up to do. And by the way, yes. we are going to look at the word do. Absolutely. So, when you talk about the Bible uh, breaking down into two people here, yes. that there's a foolish man yes. and there's a wise man. A wise man. We, now, if you look at this story of Jesus, we see two things here. Yes. That hearing and doing yes. is equated to a wise man. Yes. Hearing and not doing is equated to a, an, a foolish man. Yes. Alright? So, let's look at the hearing and doing. Yes. And we, as we have clarified that mm -hmm. hearing is for an instruction, right? But doing, and today we are back to my Greek class. I won't give you the Greek words, but I'll give you the meanings because okay. you won't remember the Greek word anyway. Yeah. The doing means, it's, it's, it's a verb, it's, it's an action. And it's interesting, scripture actually says it is either to make, to produce, to create. Mm. Mm. To make, to produce, to create. And then mm. and, 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 and a picture given has to do with whether it is construction whether it is a song, whether it is music you're writing, whether it is an art you're painting, whether it is a sculpture, whatever you are carrying out that is creative, productive, and you're taking action on, that's the term used here. The word does. When you hear God say something, I need to see what you did. Mm. There has to be a space where it is displayed. 
there has to be an environment where we can look at it and say this is what you saw now remember we are talking about meditation you've heard yes. us talk about meditation 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 yes when the word of god comes you receive the word yes you meditate on the word the word causes pictures in your mind yes. you never hear the word in letters exactly. or numbers yes. you hear the word in pictures yes. now these pictures that you have seen yeah. is what causes you to understand mm -hmm. then you can go and do now you've yes. said here that to do yes. is to make yes. to produce to, to create. create meaning to do is to bring something into existence exactly. externally yes. that you have seen internally yes meaning you cannot hear the word today and run out tomorrow morning to say you know what tomorrow morning i'm going to do no the first thing is the word goes internally yes. you meditate so that the bible talks about meditate on this word day and night so that you may make your way prosperous how you may make you may create you may produce and make your way prosperous yes so you have to think about yeah. it, to meditate so, so doing here is not mindless behavior <laughs> okay that's what i was trying to say in many words <laughs> it's not okay it is skillful intention mm. Powerful. there's no way i can hear a word from god Meditate on it. Get an image, a picture, a design, an idea from God. And produce something that does not require skill, creativity, and that does not call marvel. Mm. Does not cause people to marvel. To marvel it is. must have impact. It must be something because it came out of the divine. It has to be unique. Yes. It has to be special. So hearing the word and growing is not a simple task. Mm. It is not a mindless task. Mm. It is engaging. I think that is good that you go back yes. to that one of mindless tasks. It is not. Because there are things we do, we, I mean, they are routine. I don't have to think. And that's not what God is asking. Yes. If anything, you've heard us say that in the Bible, you'll find scriptures where God said, it is a sin to give a man mindless tasks. Yes. You cannot just tell somebody, go and do this. And Aimless. it is something that is, not co that is causing their mind not to move, exactly. not to think, not to create. So God is about creativity, production. Yes. He's about doing something that when people see, they marvel like you there say. You go. So God, when he tells you, you need to hear and do. Yes. It means when we talk about doing and we tell you, go and do something. Exactly. Go and create. Yes. What are you creating? That thing must be beneficial. Okay. We always repeat these terms. Yes. Productive, mm -hmm. profitable. Mm. So it must bring benefit and profit mm. either to you or to others. Mm. Benefit and profit. profit. So when we say the word comes and you need to do. Yes. Now it talks about this wise man. Yes. It's like he's building his house. house. Now let's talk yes. about the house. Again we go to Greek. The term house used here has more than one meaning. Mm -hmm. The house can mean a building. Okay. The house also means a family. That's why it says so and so's household. Mm. Mm. It's a family. Yes. The house also means wealth, goods, property. Mm. So it means this man who hears God not only is able to take care of his environment, yes. his family, mm. his future, it's beneficial. So the word transforms lives and nations. Mm. Powerful. So he built his house, meaning the way he structured his own self. House also means your body. Oh, yes. How you live. Mm. How he built his family, how he built his business and economy, how he built, if you're a leader, his nation. Mm. That is the house. So you cannot have the word from God. Yes. And you say that it is transforming me. Exactly. But I am not doing any business. I am yes. not creating or producing. Yes. If you look at my family, there's nothing happening at no. home because I'm not taking that transformation to the home. Exactly. I, if you look at my children, there's no transformation. Yes. God says, you listen, I send you one word. When God says, I'm giving you power yes. to create wealth, that word must transform you, those around you, the nations. Yes. I mean, it's not about, you keep growing. But the word starts with you. Exactly. You go to your family, In those closest to you, yes. and those around you. In fact, you can, you can summarize that term houses life mm -hmm. he builds his life he builds his life whatever constitutes your life yes whether it is your house whether it is your property whether it is your goods whether it is your children whether it is your environment whatever constitutes that that is what he built based on what he heard jesus say mm. so when you talk about uh life because yes. i think it's easier for us to use the word life yes when you talk about i hear the word of god yes. this word i build my life exactly. now what makes it um uh, there's a where you find somebody maybe talking about me, I've had the word, and I'm so happy that the word is changing me, yes. and you're talking about me, yes. and yet you have a marriage yes. that should be built. But we cannot see the principles or the word building the marriage. Let's just say the word, being as powerful as it is, 
cannot change you without changing your relationships. It's impossible. Okay. In other words, if the word changed me, assume I was a troublesome husband. Mm. My wife has mm. just benefited. Mm. When you change, my, my I, change, I can yeah. see it yes. and it will affect me. There's no way that the change that you get from God mm. in your life can be isolated. The Bible says a light cannot be hidden. Mm. A light is set in darkness, it shines. And I think so any change, let's say my economy changes. Yes. There are people around me who benefit naturally. With your growth. With my growth. So God is not about us being individuals here and yes. growing as a person, as a lone yes. bear in a corner. Exactly. God is about life, he's about humanity. Yes. So whatever he sends to you, the word he's sending to you is for everyone. Now yeah. imagine if all of us thought like that, yes. that the word is coming to me to change me yes. and then I can change others. Exactly. That's, that's what he told Abraham. I'll bless you, then so that you, you become a blessing. Become a blessing. Yes. Nations will be blessed through you. Yes. Check how God grows and God is like listen That's it's it. not about you here always now if all of us thought like that you know we can change the world much faster than the roots we've been using let's talk about the rock and it says this man is a likened to him who builds his house remember house is life yes on a rock yes now in scripture the rock has clear parameters mm. every time the rock is mentioned we know what a rock is yes the rock stands for God's faithfulness that's a metaphor mm -hmm. in scripture mm -hmm. it means that God's word cannot be changed cannot be shaken, cannot be moved, it stands forever. In other words, listen, the last time you looked at a big rock, a mountain, and came back, the next time it was still there. Oh, yes. In other words, it is stable, mm. it is firm. It Those gives you a pictures. picture yes. that oh, the yep. word of God is immovable. When God exactly. says it, it is steady. Yes. It cannot be moved. Exactly. It cannot be shaken by the storms of life. So because yes. most of us think, because I'm going through a storm, yes. you fear the storm so much, you think the storm has power over the world. Over, eh, there Not you knowing go. that the reason you have the world, yes. you're supposed to it's, be, it's supposed to be a rock. Immutable. Hmm. Jesus is also referred to as a rock. Bible calls him the chief cornerstone, yes. the rock of salvation. Hmm. In the Old Testament, he's the rock that gave water. So he's always been a picture of the rock. Hmm. And even basically what Peter uh properly discerned him yes. he said on this rock mm. on this truth on this revelation a truth that build, cannot be shaken cannot, cannot be, be shaken. moved will i build my ecclesia? so if you receive the word of god yes what are you receiving yep. you're receiving the rock yes you're receiving in you now you cannot be moved that's why we say i have unshakable belief in god why yes. because when the word of god comes i hear it and it produces faith yes. it's producing a rock in me yes. i become like a rock i cannot be moved peter was called um before he was peter yes no no, no. simon simon a reed. A reed. yes that is swayed to yeah. and fro back and forth yes that is us when you don't have the word exactly. and we will look at it when you're looking yes. at the foolish yes. man yes. Yes. now here is god telling you when you have the word of god that word, when you receive it yes. in your life, you become like a rock. You're yes. steady. You cannot be shaken by, you've had news. Yes. You had somebody has done this. You've had this is going on. You're no. not shaken. No. That's what we are saying. And you no. know what? It's a journey to come to no. that place. Listen, did you know the Greek word for rock here yes. also has a very strange meaning? It means strength of character. Hmm. It means wow. strength of soul, hmm. firmness of soul. Your hmm. soul is... Hmm solid internally you are built then you can weather anything mm. and when you say it actually anything means here that. i think if you're listening mm. to us and say listen i'm going through this because yes. almost 90 mm. percent of people you meet are going through something yes all right 90 percent there are yeah. those who are not but if you're going through something we are trying to tell you that thing you're seeing like it is the world this thing has totally overwhelmed me god is telling me take the word of god it becomes a rock and you know what it does it solidifies you what does that mean you're so solid you cannot be moved there you go you cannot be moved so that's yeah. what we're saying yeah. the word of god you is know, like a there's rock there's a statement you know i like saying mm -hmm. i usually say whatever happens outside you is not powerful until it happens inside mm. you and this is what i say whatever happens outside you never let it happen inside you mm, please explain don't let the external crisis become your internal reality make sure your internal reality always <laughs> defies the external reality and you use the internal reality to operate to from. interpret yes. what is happening there meaning when today you say listen i'm taking the word of god and this word of god i'm going to make sure i see the result i'm going to build my house do you see the things that you're doing internally yes and you become like a rock yes. internally you are solidified now 
when something happens outside use your internal to, to interpret. interpret that look at that situation and say you know what enemy you could be coming through yeah. this person you could be coming through this situation you could be coming through this law you can't shake me yes. so i am interpreting what my world uh, my world view is interpreted by the word in me there you go many people when you have the word if you don't allow it be, to become a rock yes. you use the externals to define your life that's a problem so now we are using internal to look mm. at things around us and say listen that's how i, I see, see this but my friend because of who i am inside i'm looking at that thing and say my yes. god the one that has given me this word this word is powerful than what is happening around exactly. me exactly that is exactly. it so we're talking about two men yes there's a foolish yes there's a wise they both had they both had <laughs> let's talk about hearing and not doing now what is interesting about hearing and not doing Jesus equates both men as builders and that's what's funny. <laughs> the foolish so the man is not, is not, not like, idle. Uh -huh. He didn't say he who hears my word and does it and he who does not do it. No. He who hears my word and does it is likened as to a man who built. So he's doing what? Building his house. Okay? He who hears my word and does not do it is likened to a man who built. Built what? <laughs> his house. They both built. So when you talk about not doing, yes. there's no one here who is static. No. There's no one who is standing up and saying, listen, no. I'm doing nothing. You are building. Yes. But what you are building is what we want to look exactly. at. Exactly. So there's a man here yes. who, who hears yes. and does not do, yes. yet he's doing. Yes. Okay. So what he does not do, mm -hmm. he does not follow the instructions he got. But he's what he another. does is he follows his own instructions. Okay. So this man <laughs> is doing. So we are not looking at the activities of the two people yes. because both of them are busy. So if Absolutely. you're judging from outside, remember what we said huh. that if you look at externals to judge life you will be wrong yes so we are looking at internal and saying wait both of you are busy exactly what are you building? what are you doing so he's also mm -hmm. building okay but the only thing he has discarded is being called foolish not because he's not active mm. Mm. he's not being called foolish because he's not busy he's being foolish because he's applying the wrong tools mm. he's being called foolish because he has discarded the tools he was given so he's building on sand yes the other one was on rock. On rock. This one is on sand. Let's talk about sand. Now, sand is very interesting. The picture of sand is unreliability and instability. Okay. Sand is not firm. Sand shifts. Sand changes shape according to pressure. Mm, according to pressure. Yeah, yeah. Whatever pressure you give it is a shape mm. it will take. So, if you take sand, yeah, yeah. Just pour a little water. Yes. Then pressure. The yeah. uh, the mold it. Yes. The shape of the mold. Exactly. So if the mold is depression, yes. that's the shape the, the sand it. will take. If the mold is poverty, that's yes. the shape it takes. Yes. If the mold is uh, unrest, yes. that's the shape it will it take. take. Insta and, and reliable insta if and, uh, been, unstable. If you are the beach. Nowadays, they are more creative. In the past, we were only building castles at the beach. Yes. Now, we even because of our colonial heritage, castles were the things we built. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Nowadays, we build animals. We yes. build whatever. Now, imagine somebody who has made that thing on the beach out of sand. Hmm. From far, how solid does it look? It looks firm, how beautiful. How powerful does it, it look? It looks like it's immovable. Yes. Just have some kids running towards it. You're no, going to no, start no, screaming. No. Just have the wave yeah, yeah. come towards Simple. the tide. You know, when you look at that Gone. thing, tomorrow morning when you come, you're like, if Gone. I tell you, I saw something powerful. There come, go. I go and show you. you My go. friend, where it was, you yes. find water. That's it. Gone. Sand. That is sand. Yet. What a picture. It's beautiful. It's classic. It's mm. well built. Mm. But it has no foundation. It has no firmness. Wow. It's not standing. Instability and yes. unreliability. Yes. Sand also expresses humanity. Okay. Remember, in the Bible it says, your descendants shall be like the sand. sand. It, so that is a picture of humanity. And it also means a number of things. One, it means opinions of men, traditions of men that can be passed down in generations. Mm -hmm. Truths, traditions that do not help, that do not build according to this model. So it means if you're already following a pattern, because this man built, where did he get his design from? Mm. Somebody before him. Yes. Now talk about this uh, sand. Yes. Let's have a picture of you taking sand in your yes, hand. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Talk about how it. well can you, you talk to me about this before we started the conversation? Help so me to go back it. and explain it. Yes. Okay. What I was telling you is sand is so unreliable. Try and carry sand in your hands. Okay. It just flows through. Try and give it any. Listen, sand is unreliable. Totally. Let me tell you. Even if I took a handful of sand and tried to toss it at you, you are not threatened. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I took a rock the same size yes. <laughs> and decided to throw it at you, yes. you'll take cover. Mm. Mm. That's how unreliable sand is. Because between my hand and your face, the wind is enough mm. to disperse it. Wow. Sand is unreliable. You can't hold on to it. Yes. It is not stable. It's not safe. You can't even remember what it looked like yesterday. So you're saying here there's a man who is, yes. who is building yes. on a foundation that is unstable. Totally unreliable. You cannot rely on what you're building on. Yes. That is a foolish man. Exactly. He is busy. Yes. But my friend, what he's building yeah. can go down in a day. Listen, this truth, when Jesus speaks a truth, it operates at every layer of life. Even if you build a nation mm. on this concept, you'll still have the same problems. Is that what happens when you talk about in Revelation? Yes. The Bible talking about Babylon has fallen in an hour. In an hour. Because it's unstable built on foundation. Earth. Yes, unstable foundation. Mm. Doesn't need much. Yes. Listen, it's only in earthquakes that we know the quality of a building. Mm. Oh, yes. It's not the beauty that matters. Yes. It's a structural quality. Talking about sand again, yes. here we are saying people and their opinions and traditions. Exactly. That's what we're building on. Remember, we are discussing the man who is building on sand. Yes. On sand here could mean what I've just said. Yes. Building on people and their opinions and traditions. Yes. On people's opinions and traditions. Exactly. And let's talk about when we talk about massive sand. Mm. Don't think about the sand at the beach. Actually, many times the sand at the beach is tiny pebbles. It's not the same as the sand in the desert. Mm. Sand in the desert is a bigger picture. Yes. Barrenness. Mm. Nothing can grow there. Mm. That's a picture Nothing. of sand. Nothing can grow. And even you, yes. when you're walking there, yes. there's no way you are walking like family and with confidence. Yes. Do you notice you're on sand, mm. but you're balancing? Exactly. Because you do not know at what point this sand will just yes. give in. <laughs> Let me tell you another problem with sand. Yeah. It swallows water and gives back nothing. Mm. Can you imagine? Can sit under the water forever and just keep soaking. Mm, but just there's soaking. no plant coming Nothing out. Nothing grows. And not even weeds. Mm. <laughs> not even weeds that are useless, that will not be used. Wow. And if it grows something, it's going to be painful. It's called cactus. Can you imagine? <laughs> this is what we are saying, that you're sitting there taking the word of go. God, hearing it, not doing, but instead just you're so. building on your own opinions, yeah. your own traditions, cultures, and all that, yes. and you're building on such a foundation that can be blown by the wind anytime. In other words, if you meet ministers, I'm talking to you, mm. if you meet sound listeners you will think you're teaching them for the first time wow oh, yes. there's no sign of they have had they this had before, had this before. Mm. Mm. no sign mm. and if they're done with you an hour later two days later there will be no sign there and that is why like you're saying talking to the ministers he can teach or she can teach something powerful yes and then a minister visits yes and teaches the same thing yes and you're looking at your people like listen <laughs> Why are you behaving like you've never had this? <laughs> no, we have never. Yeah, sand. When you're on sand, when you have a mentality of a sand builder, yes. this person's foundation is always blown. And that's what you always say in yes. the wilderness when they were walking. Yes. That's why they couldn't tell. 40 years, guys, exactly. we've been here. We've been going around exactly. this same place because when the wind comes and blows, yeah. building there on people's go. opinions and traditions. Yes. Let's look at about uh, sand yeah. as a sign of barrenness or yes. desolation. A place where nothing grows. Mm. Absolutely nothing. It's barren. If I go and drop you out in the desert, you will scream because you know. Mm. It's not the same as being put in a forest. Yes. And really, mm. what is the difference between a forest and a desert? Okay. One responds to rain. Mm. The word. One responds to rain and produces. Mm. Once it just swallows the rain. Mm. Over and over, it's like a bottomless pit. Mm. Nothing changes. So talking about us now, who yes. are hearing this word, who have been told, listen, I'm giving you power to create wealth, yes. but you're behaving as though you're in a barren or desolate place. Yes. How do you explain that? Or how do you define I, this I th person? I think, I think it all begins with, first of all, sand in this context for us is stop listening to every opinion. That's what causes sand. Sand is combination of many ideas. Mm. Think of it as different, different, different. Like we said, sand is humanity. Mm. You've got culture here. You've got concepts. You've got philosophy. Mm. You've got uh, intellect. You've mm. got education. You've got titles. Mm. You've got everything. You've got experiences. Mm. Then you hear a word. And you want the word to come here. This sand here mm. will swallow the word. Mm. Jesus says, you have made the word of God of no effect mm. by your, your tradition, tradition, a.k.a. sand. <laughs> and I think when you're talking like that, I'm saying God is so merciful. Yes. He uses 
uh, words yes. that we can look around us yeah, yeah, yeah. and say, listen, by looking at this, I can tell what you're saying. Yes. Because look at an acrobat. Yep. And I'm not talking here about in the physical now. Look mm. at the picture they show us. That an acrobat can take the hand mm. and the hand will meet the leg yes. via the head. Yes. Via the yeah. When you look at that acrobat, you're saying, listen, there are some people who are building their life like that. That's what you just said about listening to many yes. things. Where you don't even know what yeah. your hand is for. And let me explain. An acrobat can only be entertaining, not mm. profitable. Okay. Mm. And you cannot live like that. No, no, no. He can't say that all day. <laughs> Try and tell him to stay in that manner. So you're saying there's somebody here now, when you listen to different messages, yes. one message tells you the hand touches the neck, another yes. message tells you. So because you do not understand, wait a minute, where am I supposed to be? What is the word saying to today? me? today? Yes. That is what causes acrobatic exactly. listeners. Yes. And that may be those are acro acrobatic congregants. <laughs> yes. So when you go to a congregation, you find yes. everybody is an acrobat. Yes. Why? No understanding yeah. that you should have an instruction That's what it. is an instruction yes, is where yes. god tells you i want you to just do this forget about everything else yeah, yeah, yeah. for you i want you to do this for abraham it was get out of your father's house what if you found somebody else who is now saying in my father's house yeah. i want to build a mansion there you go if abraham tried that he's like stop yeah, that's, that's not your instruction yes guys if you can understand building on sand is where you're coming to a place of Taking the water, yes. like you've just said, exactly. producing nothing. Yeah, and like Abraham, if you agree to come out of your father's house, mm. you won't become a house, you'll become a nation. Hmm. Hmm. A combination of houses. Wow. That was the journey. Yeah. And let me say something about sand. Building on sand has this illusion. Mm. It is where you're able to build quickly. Mm -hmm. When you build on an easy foundation, the construction goes up very fast. When you want to build on rock, it takes time yep. just to get the foundation right. And that's part of the illusion the devil uses. Why people find it easy to build on sand is because it looks like you'll get to the destination quicker. That is the people who want instant results. That's Listen, sand. you're telling me God is yep. giving us power to create wealth. Right now, I have a need. Whatever you tell me, yes. can that word fix my need? Yes. God is saying, stop fixing your need, fix you. Yes. If you can allow this word to fix you, yes. build a foundation in you, yep. you become the rock. Mm -hmm. Then that tells you, this, this situation you're seeing today, yes. you will see it no more. Absolutely. You will see it no more. Yes. Because now you'll become the person who can look at a situation and say, listen, I know how to navigate on this one. I know how to maneuver in yes. this one. Matthew 4.17. Yeah, and, and in Matthew 4.17, it says something interesting about the problem of not having a root. Can I read it? Yeah, read it. And then I want to say something about what happens every time in, in history mm. when the word comes. And you'll see why Matthew 4 becomes crucial. Okay. Yeah. And they have no root in themselves. And so endure only for a time. You need to go and read everything. I mean, you don't start a sentence yeah. with, and they have. Ooh. Okay. Go and read the verses before that. Yes. And they have no root in themselves. And so endure only for a time. Afterward, when tri tribulation and persecution arises for the, word, for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. Now, this is talking of the parable of the sower, by the way. And the principle is this. If you check scripture, mm -hmm. there's this parameter. Every time God gives an instruction for kingdom advancement, the first step the enemy does is to offer to help. By the way, he doesn't start by fights. Mm. That's why people end up building on sand. <laughs> if you see the book of Ezra, when it was time to rebuild the temple, when they came back under Cyrus, the people of the land said, can we help you? Everywhere, can we help you? Mm. If you refuse the help, the storm is coming. Mm. But the storm is coming because you have refused exactly. to accept the help. Exactly. So let's get this clear. There's one thing that is consistent in this particular story Jesus gives. Mm. The storm will come, not might. That's not a good message. <laughs> I don't want to hear messages. To when you're both the storm builders and the storm came. Mm. So we have to agree. And when a word is released, a storm is on the way. Mm. So the word is released. Yes. You receive the word. Yes. Choose to build either on rock or sand. Yes. But be sure. The, the storm, storm is coming either way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And we need to break down the storm. When and you talk about the said, rain. Yeah. That's what we said. When the storm comes, if you have no root, if yeah. you don't build on the rock. Yeah you will quickly give up what God said. Because that scripture says, persecution comes for the word's sake, not yours. Mm. So, <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when the persecution comes, yes. it's not coming to bring you down. No. It's to take away the You're word. You're not the target. That it's, word. The enemy knows this thing. The kingdom, come. come. The will be done. 
on earth. The enemy's mantra, the kingdom must, must not come and the will must not be done. So how does the kingdom come? Through a word from God. How mm. is the will done? Through us. Mm. And the Bible promises that the enemy will not come yes. unless he's yes. coming to steal, <laughs> to kill, or to destroy. Yes. And now you're yeah. saying that the minute you receive the word, yes. he's coming because there's something to steal. Okay. Who is the word? The person. Mm -hmm. It's called Christ, right? Okay. You see the word? Yes. Let's see if it happened with him first for a minute. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, and the word came. God said, this is my son. In whom yeah. I'm well pleased. Next agenda. <laughs> and the devil showed up. Mm. And questioned that Immediately, statement. Immediately, listen. Every time you hear the word, expect an attempt <laughs> to overthrow it. But if you hear that, you'll be so happy, like, listen, yes. when I hear that the enemy is asking, did God really say? Mm. I know he said. Listen. Stop having conversations with the enemy. Just say, listen, I know. Let me give you the good news. As you journey this word, yes. when you receive the word, mm. when the enemy comes, you are happy because you are the proof that he will fail. Mm. Mm. It's not something to be feared. And like the Jesus, storm is not to be feared. I think that's a good statement. <laughs> Don't fear. Because when you hear yeah. the storm, people think the storm is like, no, oh, no, things will come and happen and everybody listen, the enemy will try to come and question the word you've received. Are you really the son of God? But listen, God has just said that. God has said you, it. What are you asking? You're asking me the obvious. Is that listen. not the same with Eve? For us, the storm is our rubber stamp of proof. Mm -hmm. we've, we've stopped fearing storms. Yes. Eagles love storms. Mm -hmm. Because a storm is what separates the eagle from the hawks. And the storm is what makes you see no. that God is true. Yes. He told you, I'll give you power to create wealth. Yeah. Everybody, globally, everybody huh. is saying, no, 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 uh, everything. The storm now the, the, storm, <laughs> the storm is here, that the cost of living, this yeah. is a song, a, a sound storm. from every corner of the yes. earth. But what are you saying? Listen, even when that storm is coming, My I'm standing stands. up because I am steady. Yes. I am solidified. I cannot be moved by the statements or opinions of men. I I choose the Lord's report. Yeah, yeah. Our good statement. I Whose tried. report will you believe? Let Question. me ask you. Let me just ask that. I yeah. just said that and something came to me. Yes. When I ask you, whose report mm -hmm. will you believe? Yes. It's not a song. You have no. two reports. <laughs> Remember what you talked about, Sarah, the other time? Yes. You have two reports. Yes. Which one will you believe? Yeah. Will you look at your life and say, you know what? My business was like this. It has gone down. But this other side, you're being told, listen, I've given you the power to create wealth. Whose report will you believe? Stop singing it and start answering be, by your life. Be the report. By doing, yes. Be let's, the report. Let's talk about rain. Let's when discuss, yeah. Rain. Let's break down this storm. And mm -hmm. the Bible is clear. It gives us three aspects. Okay. Jesus even mentions them specifically mm -hmm. by name. Yes. So the first thing he mentions is rain. Okay. And please understand, this rain is not positive. This is not the rain of blessing. Mm. Because <laughs> he says the rain beat on that house. It is not yeah, rain. Blessing, blessing doesn't do that. Mm. This is torrential rain. Okay. Torrential rain is serious. That rain that causes trouble. Mm. Rain in scripture in this context always symbolizes overwhelming trouble and trials. Coming to you. Overwhelming. You're Notice hearing, the term. you're seeing, or you're going through. Yes. You know there are times you can hear something and you're like, this is overwhelming. Yes. And you're like, listen, it will come to try and to take the check the what you said. Yeah. It's not coming for you. No, you're, you're just you're just the vehicle. You know, <laughs> it's the coming issue. for the one you received. You received. There it comes. Wow. So some of you have been asking, ever since I received this word, the power to produce wealth, if there is warfare I have seen, it is in finances. Yes. Listen, it is not warfare. It is an inspector. Mm. Have you believed God? Simple. And for us, when this rain comes, yeah, yeah. we are like, listen, Proof. if I'm supposed to be in a financial journey, God yes. is telling you, I'm giving you the power to create wealth. When the rain comes, hmm. overwhelming bills, overwhelming reports, overwhelming demand on money, what is the one thing being questioned? Generosity. You remember what you said earlier? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that's powerful. Yeah. What's being questioned of you? What is trying to be shut down? The one thing God told you. Hmm. Let me say this. When you hear a word like that on generosity, and you see all these things being shut down, then you need to ask only one question. To me, that is evidence <laughs> that what I heard is true. Yeah. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as proof. And that is what, for us, we sit and say, what is being questioned? The devil is saying, D did God really say he's uh -huh. giving you the power? And you know what the answer is? I'm not getting the power. I have the power. I have. 
So if I see uh diminishing yes. finances diminishing on yes. one side i don't yes. look and say wow i don't have money for this i listen i have power i have power to create wealth and you have to be solid you have to be firm you have to know that your foundation is the word and my eyes are on that word god said this no matter what is happening on this side no matter what i'm hearing i'll stand on that word listen if you had no gold the thief would not come yes yes if the storm has come it is proof the devil is clear cut that you have that word. Mm. Mm. And that word is the only thing that will deal with the devil. Stop trying to deal with him emotionally. You said something. When the rain comes, comes. this is not normal rain. No. This is that overwhelming word. Remember? Rain, word. There yes. are words that come yes. that are overwhelming. Yes. You've heard the bank is saying, yes. you've heard this is happening. You've heard another one in your business. Whatever you're hearing, now the question is when you've received the word mm -hmm. and the rain comes does the bible not promise you the rain came and stopped yes the problem is when you think you're in a situation that will never stop rain look at the rain stop. and say listen it will stop the clouds eventually go away yes what will what you is remaining what? will the house have fallen mm -hmm. Will you still be holding That's the, question. the word? Let's talk yeah. about the floods. Now, floods in scripture, yeah. obviously, the, you, in fact, in scripture, most of us know floods to be negative because of Noah. So you already know that much. All right? But floods here talks about anything that wants to overwhelm you, difficulties that or trials that come into your life. They symbolize adversity, chaos. You know floods. Just watch the news. Chaos. Floods have no respect for what was built before. Mm. Floods have no respect for how long something has been established. So you're saying here the rain came, yes, brought the house down, yes. Floods no. came, carried right. it away. Exactly. So <laughs> oh the no, the chaos. devil is not coming to you nicely. Yeah. But you know what? As you see those floods, yes. you're simply saying, "Listen, the Bible promises yes. that house never fell." Exactly. No, no matter, matter what is happening, my friend, you will remain standing. The yes. problem is when you shift your gaze from the word that you received, the rock that is keeping you firm on the yes. ground, and you face the floods. You will go yeah. with the water. So floods talk about chaos. Mm. When things mm. are falling apart, you are totally out of control. Mm. You see the flood, we have no real idea where the problem is coming from, which direction. Mm -hmm. You don't know which way mm -hmm. to run, yes. which way to go back. Yes. You don't, and it carries away everything yeah, in its path. Everything. So sometimes mm -hmm. it's uprooting everything you depended on. And of Chaos. course, when you talk of uh, floods, as you see, it threatens your, your faith. Yes, in fact, that's a target. You're, in fact, floods go for faith. Mm. Rain goes for the word. Floods come for faith. Guys, so you stop when you believing. talk about you, are, you have this unshakable belief in God, my yes. hey friend, it will be shaken. <laughs> it will be tried. It will be to check. Are you to truly... Yes unshakable exactly i'm telling you that and listen this is not something out there this is things we experience and we Day look through, and we tell one thing i can tell you the rain stops <laughs> but you know what jesus is telling you he's a creator he's telling you this one person was left standing firm foundation the word you have received so if i have a word mm. i don't fear the storm Simple. i don't fear the rain i don't Simple. fear the flood now what about the winds the winds <laughs> wind you already know air information mm. data but wind goes beyond the norm mm. because wind is invisible bible says we can see what wind does we can't see where it comes from where it's going wind is now what is behind the scenes the demonic attack mm. the spiritual attack that is not so obvious the contrary ideas and this is really now when the devil is releasing yes everything else you saw physically was being driven by the wind mm. because remember even before rain you get strong winds yes Floods mm -hmm. are driven by winds. Mm -hmm. So what is behind it is the devil. And that's why you don't fight people. That's why we say no. we do not war against flesh and blood. Don't we do not sit people. and say, listen, this person is holding my goods at the uh -uh. port. This person is holding my check. This other person is claiming. This other person is doing. Yes. Stop. Leave the people alone. Yes. Look at the spirit behind and say, what is this thing using a people to come and try and stop me? Now, what is the spirit yes. behind this person? Now here's the secret. When you see Jesus dealing with a storm in the Bible, the Bible says he first rebuked the wind. Interesting. It is when he rebuked yeah. the wind that mm. he said, Shalom. Mm. The Bible says that Jesus rebuked the wind and said to the storm, Shalom. Peace, yes. Meaning, I know who is behind this. Let me rebuke the one who requires rebuking. Then I can calm mm. whatever is in play. Mm. So listen, do not allow 
This is my prophetic word to someone. Yep. The storm outside you will stop when the storm inside you stops. Mm, mm. You've allowed the rain, the floods, and the winds. But the storm, if you don't detect where it's coming from, if you stop looking at people, stop looking at situations, stop looking at everything, then realize, wait a minute, God gave me a word. Mm. The wind behind that attacking that word is causing all this activity. My focus is that word, and that word will stop that wind. The word will stop the wind. Jesus rebuked the storm. The word stops the wind. And the when principle? he rebuked, he says what? Peace. Peace. Now, whatever is happening around you is being controlled yeah. by? The wind. The wind. If you can stop the wind, hmm. things stop. That's it. How do you stop that? By yeah. putting your gaze on the word. Yeah. Meaning, when God says, I have power to create wealth, I don't care how many calls I get from the bank or from the creditors, like the woman with the, yes. who went to the prophet. Yes. I don't know how many people I think the power. creditors are coming. God has no. given me power to be hmm. blessed. I am hmm. blessed. The actions I'm taking are blessed. That is rebuking the wind. And don't I, talk to the wind. And listen, when you talk the word of God, your internal becomes so powerful that you look at a call and say, listen, I no longer interpret externals with externals. Yes. I look at inside me and say, the wind that is trying to take me away from my word, I refuse. I will hold on to this word yes. because this word will become. And exactly. when it becomes, you will look back and say, you, you can say with confidence, yeah, the yeah. word we always use, yes. the word of God is true, yes. the word of God is sure, yeah. the word of God is just. That's it, it will never do injustice to you or to yes. other people. Listen, right? the target of the wind yeah. is to test your faith and your character. Mm, mm, mm. The idea mm. is steal your faith <laughs> and bring you into the flesh. Wow, wow. That's all. Yeah. If you refuse, stay in your faith and remain in the nature of God, the wind will stop and everything will stop. So we are talking about now here, when you talk of the storm, yes. the storm is a combination of now yeah. the rain, the flood, yeah, yeah. and the wind. That's what we All the those things yes. coming together. They come simultaneously. But you know what? <laughs> when you have the word of God, you know right now, if you're listening from a fallen position, you're yes. like, okay, wait, you guys, you're promising us hell. Yes. You're saying, listen, no. Jesus walked to hell. Yeah. <laughs> he went in. It. Why? You reach a place where you're so stable, the enemy does not scare you. When he came to tell Jesus, bow down before me and worship me. Jesus just yes. says, it is written. Yeah, yeah. It is written. So what are you supposed to do? Hold on to the word. Yes. It is written. God has already said, it's written in my heart. He has given us power to create wealth. He has given me power, no matter what the bank is saying, no mm -hmm. matter what my situations are saying, yes. no matter what my business looks like, like right now, no matter how my finances look like right now, he has said, and it is written in my heart, he has given me power to create wealth. You know what? I am here to hear, to understand, so that I may execute. That's I it. may create and produce. That's it. And let me tell you, in the case of the foolish man, the Bible says, and great was the fall of yes. that house. Yes. The other one, it says, it stood. Now let's describe the fall for a moment. Mm. I like Greek terms. Fall is, is insightful when you see what the Bible says, what that term means. It actually directly translated, the Greek word for fall means, to descend from a higher place to a lower place. That's when we right. say Adam fell, he left a higher estate hmm. and began to function yes. at a low. That's the intent of the storm. Hmm. Bringing you from a superior life to a lower to life. To an inferior. So you can only know if the storm has been with you and how you withstood it hmm. at the end. Have you fallen? Have you come lower? Or are you higher? Hmm. Or have you stood your ground? Hmm. One of the meanings. The second meaning for fall means to come down from prosperity. Interesting. Wow. That you have fallen. Listen, the person mm -hmm. who was designed for a fall is not you. It's called the devil. Yes. How art thou fallen? fallen. Why do you want to fall? So you're this? saying that you're coming, there's the life of God. Yes. That he has intended for you. Exactly. I'm giving you power to create wealth. Yes. When you fall, where you see yourself, even that statement, you can't even see it. That's yes. how low you have fallen. Because now where you are, you're only seeing chaos around you. You're not even seeing a way out. Yes. You're even questioning that word. Exactly. But you know what? The enemy wanted you there. Because yes. that is his yeah. uh, domain. And, and the tool he uses for the fall is terror in your spirit. Mm. Fear and terror is mm. what is the tool he uses. Yes. So the word fall there means to be captured. Mm by terror and fear. Now, do you realize when you talk about rain, floods, That's and it. wind, look at the ones outside yes. to tell you how forcefully 
the floods will come. Yes. But these all are coming yes. so that they can bring you to an inferior life, That's it. way of living, a diminished life, That's a place it. where when you live, you look at yourself and say, let me ask you, how can I access that? Yeah. How can I be what God is saying? Yes. Because where I am, I can't see that. That's all the enemy wanted. Yes. And that's why he says, bow down and worship me. Exactly. I will give you all this. What he's promising you is sand. It's a lie. It's sand. And, and you see what happens? Mm. The idea that if you fall in this manner, it is to, the, the term is to humiliate you. Mm. Mm. To bring you to a lower estate. Mm. To make you look lesser. Do you know why? So that you can misrepresent God. Mm. Because they're not going to backslide. Yeah, no. But the kind of talk you will have no, now, the kind say, of God you know. I don't want that God. <laughs> and listen, the devil is a master illusionist. This is yeah. what he does. Mm. When the foolish man, and he doesn't like the foolish man. Don't ever think the foolish man works for the devil. No. The foolish man is the tool of the devil. Mm. Mm. At the end of it all, he finishes. He will discard it. When wow. you finish using a tool, you throw it away. Mm. What he does, he allows you to have an illusion when you're going through a storm. He allows you to have an illusion that the foolish man is doing okay. The, the wise man. The, the foolish. Oh, the when foolish, you're wise, yes. he gives you a story. He lets you see mm, mm. the foolish and you start regretting. What about me? How can I? And they tell you, you keep following that path. You'll never make it here. Mm. So in that season, he does that. When you have been disillusioned and confused and annoyed by how the foolish seem to be making it, David says, how I complained to God when I saw mm. the unrighteous prosper. Yes. Then I saw their end. end. God gave them going insight that we don't have. Yes. We don't see the end. Mm. So, you get offended, you get discouraged, you get disillusioned, you start veering away, trying to be like this, you end up in the same problem. Mm. When the foolish man crashes, the devil hides him from you. Hmm. You will never see him. So you always think, it is, no, it is vain to serve God. Exactly. You say in Malachi, when somebody sits and says, listen, it is vain to serve God. Because yes. when I see how the wicked yes. prosper, that's yes. what the Bible says. But guess what? When I see their end. Yeah. Another one, when no, I see yes. their end. So now, now look at the game he plays. Mm -hmm. So when the foolish crash, they crash in isolation. Okay. You don't see. <laughs> when the righteous crash, they crash in public. Mm. So you have this picture of the righteous and uh, follow failing. the word. Yes. This will not work. That's a difference. That's why we're talking about meditation. That's why we're talking about taking the word of God, meditating on it until it becomes part of you that you cannot be separated. Today, no one can convince us that God does not give, it, give us power to create wealth. That the power God gives us overcomes anything around us and that's why we're talking about meditating on the word of god until you see the promise of god become a reality yep 29th of july 29th of july <laughs> is crucial yeah it's crucial because locally where we are living globally now let me give you a reason why this is important anyone who built past tense on sand or continues to build in sand mm -hmm. will be humbled by the storm that is intensifying globally and locally mm -hmm. all right the ones who will stand are the ones who are building on the rock. Mm. This meeting is part of the technology of building on the rock. Yes. So that, the st listen, can we agree the storm will come? The storm is here. The storm didn't ask our permission. The question is, when the storm comes, what have you built on? Mm. That's all. Mm. And that's why we're dealing with this. We are teaching you how to insulate yourself internally so no external storm can affect. You keep building on what you've had and you will defy the storm and you will be the proof that the word works. This is where we say keep it kingdom. Keep it pure. God bless. Thank you for watching this episode of the Kingdom Conversations. The big question remains, what have you heard? And what are you going to do about it? Keep tracking with us, like, and follow us on our social media handles, The Cyrus Community on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can send in your questions through Facebook or use the email on your screen. And as Micah 4.4 says, may you be found seated under your vine and under your fig tree. Until our next episode, keep it kingdom, keep it pure.